everyone, I'm Jessica. Um, I'm the team coordinator here at Thomasville Library. And today is our very first YA Crafting at Home. So today we are going to be doing something pretty simple. Um, we're going to be doing uh, t-shirt braided headbands. So basically all this is and all you have to have is an old t-shirt. So I've got one right here that I'm going to show you all how to use. And then you need a nice pair of scissors that's going to easily cut through fabric. You're going to need some tape. Um, it doesn't matter if it's like duct tape, um, painter's tape, anything like that. And then you're either going to need like a, um, like a hot glue gun or really sticky like super glue. Or if you know how to sew, then you can also sew the pieces. So like I said, very, very simple. You can use the stuff that you have at home to make it. So first what we're going to do is you're going to take your t-shirts and figure out one that doesn't fit me anymore. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it right underneath the armpits. So I will do that right now. You're just going to, and it doesn't have to be clean because once you, um, once you braid it and once you do what you need to do to it, you're not going to see the nasty ends. I'm a horrible, horrible cutter. I can't cut in a straight line whatsoever. So after you cut it, this will be the rest of your t-shirt that you're not going to need anymore. So once you have your t-shirt like this, you're going to cut down the side. So like your side right here, you're just going to cut down the side seam. And you're just going to make one long piece. So we're going to cut right here. you're going to have a super long piece of shirt like this. And then even if, if you want to do, like cut off the um, like really thick end at the end, you can even do that. So once you have your long shirt like this, we're going to be making our long strips to um, glue together so that we can start braiding our headband. So I've already cut some pre-made strips and like you can see, they're not very straight, they're not very pretty. Um, but they don't have to be. So you don't have to be a professional cutter. But I'm going to cut one strip while I have y'all on just to see, so that y'all can see what to do. So you're going to start at the very edge, and you're just going to start cutting. Like I said, don't have to be straight, doesn't have to be pretty. This is a pretty long piece of fabric to be cutting, so it may take you minute or two to cut your strips. And I'm starting to get in again. Okay. So you're going to cut three to five, however much you can braid. I'm not a good braider, so I only do three strands. We're going to cut our hot glue gun on because we're about to start on that. So once you get your long strips, which like I said, I'm only going to do three because I'm horrible at braiding. You are going to line them up on the table. So you're going to put one down. And once you get your one down, you're going to take your hot glue gun. Um, if you're younger, use your parents with this. Um, or if you have... Um, like really sticky glue, like super glue, or even if you sew, then you're going to end up, if you sew, you're going to put all three pieces together at once and then sew them at the very end right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay this down like this, and then we're going to take our hot glue gun and we are going with the heat sun. It's still not there yet. We're going to put them like right on top of each other. We're just going to let that heat up for a minute. And it's working. And we're just going to get our strips all ready to put down. I'm going to get my, my better strips. We'll put them out like that. Let's see if it's ready to glue. So we're going to... put just a little bit of hot glue down and then we're going to take our next strip 
and we're going to just lay it right on the top of it and just kind of press it down so it sticks really good. So it should start to look like this. So you're going to hot glue the second strip to the first strip. And then once you do that, then you're going to take your hot glue gun or your glue and you're going to make another line. And then you're going to take your next strip and you're going to press that down on top of that one. And that should start to feel kind of hard. So it should look like this. Like you're just going to have three strips. And it'll be pretty long. So once you get them glued, you're going to take it and you're going to take your tape. You're just going to get you a nice little piece off. Have your scissors and you're going to cut a piece of tape. And you're going to take this down to a table or a piece of cardboard or something just so that it can stay very still while you're trying to break it. So we're going to glue this down or tape it down. And then we're going to take our strands that we've done and we're going to pull them really tight and just start braiding. And since they're pretty long, you kind of got to untangle them a little bit. It still doesn't take too long, though. And sometimes they get knotted up, so you're just going to have to untangle them. It just takes the most time to try and untangle them. And we're going to keep on braiding. And our tape's keeping it stuck in the board so we can pull it really tight. Like I said, you can do this with five pieces, you can do it with four pieces. I'm not very good with the braiding, so that's why I only do three. It just kind of keeps it a little easier. Right, we're almost there. And then you're also going to cut off just a little bit of the length so that it can fit to your head right. We are to the end. So I'm going to cut off about this much just so that I can make sure that it fits to my head. So just a little bit underneath where you stop braiding, you're just going to cut right there. So you're just going to have some um, smaller pieces of fabric. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do just like how you did up here. So you're going to take the ends, you're going to sew them or glue them down. So we're just going to add a little bead. Glue right there, and then we will push the end down and put some more glue on top of the second. So that they are stuck together like this. So after you've braided them and you've glued them down, you should have like a braided cord like this. So we're almost done. So the next part is you take your one end and then you're going to take them and put them like this to where they are on top of each other. And you're going to put just a little bit more glue or if you're sewing, then um, you can sew them together. 
and then you are just going to fit them together like this. So that it's just going to be one hard piece. Now, if you're like me and you're really bad and it does not match up very well, then what you can also do is take a piece of fabric and then maybe cut it about this big. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut that. And then what you can do is you can glue this around there to kind of make a piece like this to kind of cover your edges. That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to put a little bitty piece of glue right here. And I'm going to set my fabric down on top of it. And then I'm just going to wrap this around and kind of pull them together so that it's like this. So it's just like that. I'm going to take another thing of glue. Like I said, if you're sewing, then you can sew them together as well. And you're just going to press this down like this. So whenever it's all dried, you can just slip it over. And you have a headband. You can do this with any shirt. Um, like I said, I chose to do a tie-dye one because it's just really colorful. You can do this with, um, I've seen them done with tights. If you have, like, if you want, like, kind of a more stretchy pair. But if it's a cotton t-shirt, then it's still stretchy. So if you cut it a little too small, you can still kind of stretch it to your head. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little craft. And um, we will be back next month with another one. And I hope you all have a great day.